Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench, looking at some of the sabotage weapons developed by Britain's SOE during the Second World War. In this video, we're going to look at the base of many of those sabotage devices, plastic explosive. We're lucky enough to have some contemporary black and white and colour footage demonstrating the abilities of the explosive. The footage, believed to have been filmed in 1940, is part of the Imperial War Museum's collection. It was filmed by Cecil van der Peer Clark, a British engineer and sabotage expert who was a member of the Special Operations Executive and worked at a number of weapon research and development centres during the war. The footage shows plastic explosive being demonstrated in a number of different applications. The first clip features a number of men preparing and shaping plastic explosive charges, adding fuses and detonators. The explosive is then seen being applied to a steel plate in a ring shape before being detonated. With the ring of explosive applied to the plate, a fuse and detonator is then added to the explosive. and the fuse is then lit. The resulting explosion punches a round hole clean through the plate. The plate itself appears to be just over half an inch thick. And if we look closely, we can see the remnants of the section that has been blown out, lodged in the berm behind the plate. The film also includes demonstrations of what plastic explosive pressed against a tree trunk can do. Once detonated, the roughly one foot thick tree trunk is splintered into two. Metal girders are also shown being prepared, with a substantial block of explosive being pressed into its seams. Given the date of the footage, the explosive being used is likely an early form of plastic explosive produced at Woolwich Arsenal, possibly PETN or Cyclonite, better known as RDX, which would have been mixed with a plasticizer to make the explosive malleable. SOE Station 12's first commander, Lieutenant Commander Arthur Langley, recalled in his unpublished memoir that a new high explosive called cyclonite, which was said to look and feel like putty, turned out to be the ideal explosive for saboteurs. From the experiments we carried out in our remote deserted quarry, we soon knew exactly how much was needed to derail a train, to blow a sizable hole in the side of a ship, to detonate an ammunition dump, to destroy an electrical substation, to shatter the tracks of a tank, in brief, to do a great deal of damage behind enemy lines, with not much more than what looked like half a pound of butter and a tiny pencil time fuse. In these shots we can see that the explosive cuts straight through the girder. The SOE's 1944 descriptive catalogue of special devices and supplies lists the standard charges of 1.5 pounds and 3 pounds of plastic explosive with an integrated central primer. These were available in rectangular blocks inside a rubberized fabric. Of course, SOE agents were taught to use as much or as little explosive as was needed for the task at hand, and they were taught to be able to improvise in any given situation. Lastly, we have a large demonstration on a water tank. Two strings of explosive charges are set around the circumference of the tank. We see one chain of charges being drawn out of a box and passed around the circumference of the tank. The 
footage then cuts to the charges being detonated. Let's take a look at that explosion slow down a little. The demonstration cuts the tank into three pieces, blowing it apart. From these closer shots we get an idea of just how powerful the explosion was. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at some of SOE's demonstrations with plastic explosive. Be sure to check out the rest of our series looking at SOE's sabotage devices. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting us via Patreon or with a one-time donation via coffee.com. Another great way to support the project is to simply share the videos with friends and help us spread the word about the project. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.